Hello. Wow. Um, so I watched Quiet on Set, The Dark Side to Kids TV. It was a huge, huge, huge mental trigger for me. Mentally disturbing, and I remember watching these shows as a kid. Oh my gosh. Nickelodeon's getting canceled. Um, or, or should just be renamed now. I was so young. And what is a 90s kid? And I remember watching the old Amanda show. The old... Oh my gosh, there's just so many predators on that set. And the fact that there was hush money, or the, or the fact that there was the toxicity in that environment. These are children. And when they grow up, it looks like porn. They put these children in scary situations that scares them for years. There is now... I mean, the fact that Dan Schneider thought it was okay to demonstrate to kids that Black kids are just people who sell drugs. It looked like he was selling drugs on the all that all that show. These predators. This is why I am appalled. I am. I'm really rethinking of um, getting my uh, subscription of Paramount because right now Paramount is fucked. These were kids. And the fact that Dan Schneider got a kick out of this stuff. I mean, oh my gosh. And Drake Bell, listen. I am somebody who was in Ohio, who lives in Ohio. I'm an Ohioan. The fact that Drake Bell was sexually assaulted and sexually abused by, by Dan Peck or John. I, I, I mean, it, it really upsets me that this is the reality of Paramount. Quite on set. The fact that these women were having to split a salary. Dan Schneider is a fucking monster. It was like... You know, the way they describe Dan <clears throat> as this abusive, toxic man, and when he came in, it was like a tornado went in, whenever Dan was on set, it reminds me of, like, that was, like, when my uh, school bully who sexually assaulted me uh, was... Whenever he was around me, it was like, phew. and uh, yeah, it really stored up a hornet's nest. I am now scared of giving money to Paramount. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm literally questioning in my brain.
because I'm now changing my subscriptions to the beginning of the month of once a year. Not annually, monthly. Or, not monthly, annually. This is just sick and twisted. I mean... The boy who dressed up as a guy with noses all over him. And the fact that it looks like cum spewing on that woman. Oh my gosh. That was porn. I remember watching all that. I remember watching a lot of Dan Schneider's work. And the fact that these predators would hop on set. I wonder if Drake Bell is ever going to be talked about, like, his side of the story. I think, I know on Discovery Plus we have one and two. So, uh, yeah. This is just fucking nuts. I have never in my life thought of these moments that were inappropriate for children. And now growing up, it looks really disgusting. And so wrong. Uh, oh, I'm so throwing up. The fact that these predators were sending masturbation pics to girls and he had bang stuff on them and he was it it, it, it was like you looked into a predator that's what predators do they take things that remind them of a certain person and they masturbate on them on the stuff like bags that's what that's what youth that's what it is this guy who liked who looked like an innocent person was on set and he took stuff from certain people or created stuff to make help him remind him and the fact I'm seriously thinking of canceling Paramount Plus like my subscription or rethinking my strategy of Paramount oh my gosh this is just sick and wrong Never in my life have I ever thought of Nickelodeon being this gross. Like, the fact that there was hush money, and the way they were like, we're supporting, blah, blah, blah. You knew what was going on, and you did jack shit. Nothing. The fact that this company is built on predatorial pornography scare toxicity environment I don't know what else to say I I, I, I really don't and I know I sound like I know exactly what it's like to live in a kid's world in a star celebrity the fact that Amanda Bynes was creating a divorce against her parents going into adulthood into a young age crying to an older fat man who her parents 
talked to Dan Schneider and was like, I'm going to like, we're going to, we're going to edit all this stuff, make it for Amanda, <laughs> help her grow into the beautiful young. She's now in a fucking psych ward. You you guys know that, right? And the fact that um there was no protection from Brian Peck. Brian Peck, that's the guy who was named Pickle Boy. I remember that now. I was like, oh my gosh. And I am watching this and I I didn't like Pickle Boy, I don't think. I don't think I liked uh, the idea of Pickle and the fact that this one actor uh, Raymond from Everybody Loves Raymond was like, oh, I got a pickle. It's like he's biting on a dick. Brian Peck was sexually harassing John Drake Bell. And Drake Bell, who was an abusive person on a woman from Ohio, there's just so much wrong with this environment. Like, I don't know where to start with this story. I I don't know what to say about it. It's messed up. It's really fucked up that this entertainment industry hurt and damaged these children mentally and physically, making us do stupid dares, making them do stupid dares. There is so much wrong. I don't know what to say other than I am sorry. I, You knew what was going on, Nickelodeon. You knew what was going on, Paramount. And you did nothing. I am someone who got sexually harassed. In a different situation. And I know, I understand how scary it would be if the same person who was a sexual predator on set was still there even after. I wonder if Drake... Bell is ever going to open up because I don't because I know part two. I wonder if there's a part three because Drake Bell was the one who got sexually harassed by Dan Schneider waking up with Brian Peck on you. Oh my gosh! And the fact that this guy the. The other vocal coach was trying to kiss a person, a child, while they were playing video games in their house. Like, whoa. That carries with you. I, I, I don't know what to say other than I'm sorry. I mean, I'm watching this and it's hugely wrong. It's hugely scary that Paramount is just this toxic environment for children. I mean, I grew up watching these kids. I grew up watching The Amanda Show. I grew up watching... All that, which is... I don't know about the fear thing. Or the dare. It was a dare. I'm sorry, dear. 
I mean, that's just wow. These were children. And when they grow up, they look back at that and it looks like he's wearing penises on his arm and shoulders. And he's wearing it on a, a big one on his nose. And when he sneezes, pew, it looks like cum. Oh my gosh. That's just crazy. I was watching this and I was just mentally disturbed. I remember when, and it reminded me back when I was little and the fact that my school let the guy who sexually harassed me uh, back in the school, like... You don't know how scary that is. And the fact that your child is sexually assaulted and the guy who assaulted you, you're noticing. Nobody knows. And the fact that there was a moment of silence. That Dan Schneider gave a moment of silence to the guy and no one said anything. It's like you're not so it's like you're saluting a child predator. And Pickle Boy It looks like penises and porn. I don't even know if I want Paramount Plus anymore. Cause I'm switching all my subscriptions to annually yearly instead of monthly man that carries with you it really does and the fact that I remember one of the kids one of the child actors There's favoritism in the toxicity of Nickelodeon with Dan Schneider. And this is why I don't like the route that uh, uh, um, James Gunn is doing with DC Comics. Like, there are some people that he's worked with. And in the sh in the movie, James Gunn is letting the same guy who's played Yondu, the same guy who's played Sabak or I forget his name, Savant, play General uh, uh General. Something or other. Superman. Legacy. Or just Superman. Like. There's so much wrong with. And there's a reason why these directors were fired. There's a reason shit happens. There's a reason that all of these directors, like James Gunn, like him making fun of the Me Too movement, is not okay and should not come back. The fact that James Gunn put Peacemaker out a month after... Or in the, the month of a school shooting. Not okay. The fact that Brian Peck 
and these people were sexual predators in this environment. Not okay. Dan Schneider picked Amanda Bynes and threw out a girl who said, oh, you're just too heavy. Like, you're just too heavy. Really? She's a young girl who's growing up as an adult, as a teenager. These are women who are abused and neglected. And whenever they're writing stuff, whenever they're directing stuff, trying to do stuff, Dan shut them out and treated them disrespectfully. Amanda Bynes is now in a psych ward hospital because Dan Schneider chose her because she just adored her. She was in the laugh box or uh, the laugh factory. It was like, I choose you. You are the next it. And the fact that he took this girl who was doing amazing, and then she he saw Amanda, and then turned and said, Oh, boing! I like her more. Get her on. Let, let, let's... Let's spoil the girl. Let's give her her own show. There's so much neglect in Nickelodeon and so much destructiveness in Nickelodeon. The stuff that looks childish when you grow up, you realize it in Ariana Grande was mouthing water off for it's like that's pornographic Jeanette McCurdy who opened up about the creator the fact that her mom and this is written in her book her mom had sex with Dan Schneider just so she could get on the iCarly series That is favoritism to the fucking bone. And these kid stars are now in a salary for their mom and dad, for their parents. The fact that the African Americans are disrespected and neglected as drug addicts in the show or the fact that Dan Schneider was a white supremacist and just shitted on all the black characters and all the black females. Like, they're having them pour stuff on them like like they're little hamsters. It's sick and wrong and twisted as fuck. I'm watching this, and I remember Pickle Boy. Pickle Boy was a disgusting character, and the fact that Dan Schneider let that guy in, oh my gosh. I mean, I've been having panic attacks, and I've been having anxiety attacks, and uh, it's been really bad, uh, my mental health, because this is triggering It reminds me, and I know this isn't the same, but the fact is there needs to be a system in Cameron's place. Like, you need to realize this is wrong. And the fact that you let these predators in and be okay with it, it's like just fucking disturbing. I am uproared. I don't know what to do with um, my subscription to Paramount. I don't. So, yeah. 
and I'm watching the uh, Turning Flame. It's a cult. Or Trust in the Flame. It's a cult. It's a white supremacist sexualized cult. And it's just scary that we are living in this world where people are being manipulated. Donald Trump is a sexual predator. And the fact that these women in the Me Too movement came forward and he was in global, he was in president office. He was a president. And he has had moments of denying them, not really doing anything. There is something very, very wrong with how our government and political views the sexual predators in our lives and in our office. There is something very wrong with also how gamers talk. Because when gamers talk, it's like you talk and they just flip it like a switch. Like, I'm twerking, I'm twerking. It's like you're twerking and you're thinking of like uh, the shaking of the butt. And then I remember hearing finger banging and I remember it meant like I'm shooting my blaster, I'm shooting my guns. And people switch it like... People need to be careful what they say online, and it's no joke. People need to be careful of, like, Fortnite, Apex Legends, Overwatch 2, Destiny 2. Like, something needs to happen. There needs to be awareness of these sexual predators. I remember even in sexual predators people talking about bad stuff online spreading lies about me. I remember there was just toxic work environments in Fortnite when you're streaming playing my games people saying I'm doing stuff illegally like there were predators who were taking my stuff and switching them into false rumors. That's crazy. And the fact that there are now predators who want to just create lies for uh, like the vaccine, the COVID vaccine. Like really? You can still get COVID, but you won't die from it. I don't know what's going on. It, it's really a shit bomb. That Dan Schneider was this predator. <clears throat> and that this is just racism, sexualism in the shows. It's nasty and wrong. Nickelodeon Paramount need to be shut down permanently. I, I, I'm i just aboard. I, I don't know what else to say. Or then I'm sorry for the kids that were sexually harassed. I'm sorry for all the women that were neglected. And, um... Split a salary. WTF Women should not be treated like this Dan Schneider Is a fucking monster He went to Harvard He didn't graduate But he went to it And I don't know what's going on This is crazy guys This is fucking crazy Crazy 
All right, this is Corey Daydream, signing off.